Hey everybody, Shmurly Whirl here, back with some more Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Today we are going up against King Hippo, the Jesus Christ cat. Get out of here, I thought I just got rid of you. Okay, so he hits hard, and you don't want to get hit by his punches. But, you see when he opens his mouth? Oh dear. If you can, uh, sorry, if you can sock it to him, drop his pants, and he's got a whale on his belly. That's that's a trick for him. He's kind of a fun fight because he's just so silly and ridiculous. Oh, I'm pink. I can't punch. That's, you want to be able to punch in this fight because if it goes on too long, like he just he starts hitting too hard. I mean, he hits you too many times, you go down pretty easy. But you gotta just wail on him. You gotta wail on this whale of a man. And once you get him down once, he'll stay down, because he's too fat to get back up. So Mario's gonna count to ten. Well, make sure my cat is not up to, to no good. She's not, she's doing okay. So, okay, back to punch out. That crowd in the background, jeez. They're all so terribly excited with their blank faces. Okay, so the Great Tiger, I think, is one of the first two actually semi-challenging fights. I mean, it's this, and then you go into Bald Bull. Bald Bull, I think, is the first real test of your boxing metal. So, I'm gonna be trying to focus more on this fight because he might... I mean, he it's just, like, slow and methodical in the beginning because he's just so slow. You get one punch in, you can't get any more. So you're kind of just, like, at the mercy of whenever he wants to try to do something. But it is good once he starts getting down like that. You can just keep him locked, get all the stars you want. Well, up to three stars because that's the maximum. But then you can, um, just, yeah, wail on him, get him down real quick, and it's a pretty sweet setup. Something just fell. Catch knocked something off the table somewhere behind me. Hopefully it wasn't anything bad. I'll have to check that out, but who knows? It might be bad. But I am busy fighting a great tiger. I don't have time for a little kitten. The real question is, is he going to let me KO him again in this first round? I would love to get a sweet, quick little TKO and move on. Oh, I should have got some star punches, because... Okay, no, he's giving me some more. That's good. I can get this. Oh, man, not this thing. Okay. So, yeah, this is his tiger punch. You kind of just have to, like, suck it up and... Do oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh! He just went on for so long. After that, after he comes out of that punch, he's all dizzy, and then if you hit him in the face, he'll just immediately go down. But he stopped one fraction of a second too late because those fake Nintendo seconds were not enough time for me to get my punch off. Get my punch out, as it were. Ha ha ha. That's the name of the game. Okay. But we're still in a good spot. Okay, he's gonna start with this. He might actually knock me out because if he goes on for too long, you can only defend it so much. Nope! Check out these guys in the back. Check out the one guy. Oh my gosh. His mouth is just wide open. He's on the, the, the left side. Oh, he put it. He shut it. That's good. You don't want to have your mouth that much agape. You just look ridiculous. I really like... I don't know. I feel like the background is a nice touch. It's like semi-animated. It's not just static. It looks... Like if you're focusing on the fight, you can kind of see motion in the background. And I like that's like... Well, that's what it would actually look like, you know? Like people doing their thing. And that's just part of the Nintendo polish, and I respect that. Oh my gosh, he's gonna KO me here for sure. Oh no, he gave up early. If he did that two more times, I'm pretty sure he would've got me. But, I'm going to be happy that the RNG decided to spare me, because I really just want to end this fight. So, let's do that. Come on, go down again. Yeah, there we go. There we go. This fight's all over now, baby. There's not a chance we're coming back from that. That's a sweet TKO right there. And we're on to the next fight. The next title bout, even. That's a big fight against a big, fat, bald bull. 
who makes me feel very sad inside because I'm still not the best at blocking his bull charge. But hopefully with the pressure of me recording things, I can get the timing down right. Either that or I'm gonna crack horribly and it's just not gonna sit over well with anybody. Oh man, I forgot how small of the windows there are to like actually hit him in this game. Because there's, you only get like one punch and on that, on his standard jab. And he's just a big man. His fist is as big as my torso. How is this a fair fight? Oh man, the WVBA has some crazy regulations that these two people are allowed in the same weight class. I have the size of one of his legs. And he is just a massive, like, eight times my volume. Just, I don't think that's a fair fight. But, you know, I guess that's what it's supposed to be. You're supposed to be the underdog little Mac. The teenager from the Bronx. You gotta be tough and scrappy. And you're gonna fight against all the giant men who are laughing at you because you're so little. So I guess that's kind of a noble... Uh, da, 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 noble goal? I don't know what the word is. I, I lost my train of thought for a second there. But I gotta stay focused because I think he's gonna bull charge me soon. And if that's the case, if he bull charges, I want to be able to defend against it and get that KO. There we go. I think that's a TKO. I think I. No, it's probably just. Oh. Oh, it is a TKO. Sweet! We are now the champions! We've got our second title belt. And now we're on to another sweet NES in-engine cutscene. Running through New York at night. Training over the dock. Ooh, looks like he's got his eye kept back on me. And I'm just a dead face jogging in my pink tracksuit. What the? It's not even a track, it is like it's just, oh no, there's kind of like a belt there, it's just pink shorts and jacket. Oh, that gives me a great idea for a Halloween costume. Obviously it just go with Little Mac, you know? Get pink sweats, pink jacket, some magic color-changing pants, and you're set. Okay, so the rematch with Piston Honda, the only thing that is really different that I can think of is when he does that little eye thing, he then does three jabs instead of the normal one. And if you dodge the first one, you can normally get him on the before he does the second one, and you'll get a star punch. But then you just also have to remember to dodge the third one, otherwise you're back to square one. But this, <clears throat> this fight is just more floating like butterflies, stinging like wasps. Uh, do wasps sting? I feel like they do. I feel like they sting better than bees, because bees can sting once and they're dead. But I feel like, isn't it, it's like wasps or hornets that, like, can sting multiple times. I don't know. That was a quick, that was a quick two fake minutes. But whatever. We got this. Should take it to the second round. You know, we can, oh wow, he tricked me. I thought he was going to do some jabs. He went back for his... Hurricane Punch. I think that's what it's- I, I know that's what they call it in the later games, but I don't know what its official title is here. I feel like it should be the Hurricane Punch. So now I want to get him close to, but I don't want to actually knock him out. Because then, when the next round starts, one punch and he's down. And that'll be a lot more beneficial for me than knocking him out a second time in the first round, because I wasn't going to get the TKO. But if we're going for TKOs, having him set like this, one punch, he'll fall, and that's a good start to the round. And if he does his jab, I'll even get a star punch out of it. Oh, I guess you don't get a star punch if you KO him at the same time. That's news to me, but that's okay. Is he going to stay down? Oh, that'd be sweet if he stayed down. Nope, he got back up. That's okay. I'm not afraid of you, piston. P Honda. I pee on you, Honda. 
I don't even own a Honda. I drive a Ford. I'm a Ford man. Hmm. Just don't want to lose this fight. I want to keep up my win streak. Wanna... Oh dear. That was a, a rough succession of jabs. That's uh, yeah. That's what makes this fight harder, I think, is that if you get hit with that first one, you're probably going to get hit with the other ones. And then that just stacks on the damage. Can I get him? Nope, almost. Okay, so we got one, we got two KOs, we got one left. I just gotta stay focused, stay light on my feet. Mario's gotta count like a normal person instead of pausing all those times to see, oh, they're getting up. No, you gotta keep counting, Mario. Come on, man. You don't give me that kind of courtesy when I'm knocked out. Okay, this is gonna be, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be super close, but I can do it. And I did it, and he's down. Fist and Honda's down. TKO, even in that rematch, he sucks. I think this is a good spot to call for today. Uh, thanks for checking out the video. If you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe. There'll be more of it coming up. We'll see you next time.